Hi guys and welcome back to the another tutorial in this series simulating your robotic arm into ROS. So uh, in our previous tutorial we had created a python file which is running in this terminal which can set the predefined positions of our uh, move groups of our robotic arm. So uh, here you can see the script is running here and it is setting the positions of the uh, move groups so these are the two move groups that we had created using move it setup assistant and here are some predefined positions so the python script is setting the predefined positions one by one so if you have not watched the uh, previous tutorial please uh, have a look at this and also if you don't know how to create this full simulation you can watch my uh, detailed tutorial series on this topic on my YouTube channel. So here I have launched the full uh, simulation uh, launch file. So it is running right now here. Uh, so the my full robot arm simulation launch file is running in this terminal. And here my uh, node python file node to set the predefined position is running here. So I will keep this uh, running. And to create our uh, Python file, I will open a new terminal. So here is the new terminal. Now uh, type the command cd, uh, the home directory, your workspace name, and press enter. Now type the command source devil slash setup dot bash file. So we need to first source the bash file of our uh, at Kane workspace now we need to go to the uh, sr sorry the script folder of our, of our move it package so type the command cd uh, type src so your src folder of your catkin workspace slash your uh, package name which we created using move it setup assistant and the script folder that we had created in last tutorial and press enter so if you type ls and press enter you will find i had created this uh, file uh, that i created in last tutorial so now to print the positions we will create another python file so type the command g edit and type the uh, node name that you want to give so i will give a name node underscore print underscore pose dot py and press enter so it will open the new python file in the uh, text editor so in this python file we need to write a code so i will give the link for the code in your in the video description so i have this code already available here so i will copy this so you can uh, basically download the file from the link i have given and use that uh, code here and i will paste it here so let us understand how this code works. So as per the our previous uh, tutorial, we have everything similar. Like we have this uh, libraries. We have ad an additional library, this tf uh, dot transformation. And then similarly, we have the class for our robotic arm that we had created. Everything is similar as per the last tutorial. The difference here is we have this uh, new uh, function class function so in this function what we do is we create a like object pose values so it will be it will be of type pose and we run on the uh, class class object dot group dot get current pose dot pose so this object will contain uh, all the positions of your uh, robotic arm then here these are the Cartesian, I think X, Y, Z, the coordinate values. And here, what we do is uh, we store the uh, values that we got in the quaternion list. And at the end, we convert this uh, Cartesian values to roll, pitch, and yaw. And here, uh, I'm like just printing the values in the terminal. And then here, I have another function f print joint angle values so here again it will take the joint values using this function self dot group dot get current joint values 
uh, if you don't know about these functions you can visit this uh, links that i have given in the uh, python file and for the transformation documentation the library documentation you can visit this link so here we get the joint values and then uh, i print the uh, joint values in the terminal so here the only thing you need to customize is like uh, you need to do is uh, if you have if your robotic arm have more joints you need to add them basically this list will contain a list of all the uh, joints so right now my robotic arm have five joints so i have like uh, five uh, prints i have done here so i get the uh, so the list have the uh, joint angles uh, starting from the index of the list starts from zero so i have printed the four uh, joints and here i have like manually written these uh, joint names so you can write them as per your joints and you can customize this function for your robotic arm so basically this print end effector pose will print the position xyz coordinates and roll pitch of your end effector and this function will print the uh, joint angles of your robotic arm then here we have the class destructor and here we have the main function so here we create the arm object so here we are not controlling our end effector so we don't need to create a, a object for our uh, end effector we just create an object for arm and we initialize it from the my robot class then we initialize a while loop uh, until the terminal is running so this means until the terminal is running it will uh, call the function arm dot print end effector pose and arm dot print joint angle values then it will wait for one uh, second and again it will continue this loop and uh, when we uh, we have delete like written a function to delete the arm object once the code stops working so this is the python file now uh, save the python file and close the terminal now again uh, come back to the same terminal and here uh, type ls and enter so as you can see our newly created python file is available but it looks white in color it means that it is not still executable so to make it executable type the command sudo chmod plus x and type the file name like node underscore print pose dot py press enter it will ask you for your ubuntu password so enter it and press enter now if you again uh, run the command ls so you will find the file name is showing as green it means it is now executable so let's uh, minimize this and now as our simulation is already running i will uh, execute the python file to print the positions so here the python file to set the predefined poses is already running for this we need to go to our uh, move it workspace and we need to again run the setup.bash file type source level slash setup.bash and press enter now type the command cross run your package name and enter the uh, python file name so it will show you here like we have uh, if you press tab continuously it will show all the uh, files starting with node underscore now type uh, p later so it will select that file and again press tab and then press enter so here you can see it has started to print the positions of our end effector so as you can see as it will change the position here it will change the uh, values so as you can see as our uh, robotic arm is moving it will change the x y z coordinates of the end effector now as you can see the y coordinate it changed from minus to positive it means like the origin is at the base of our robot you can see here these uh, green lines 
and this uh, uh, this blue line is z-axis this uh, green line is y-axis and the red is the x-axis so here it is printing the positions so as you can see our end effector is now again on the uh, my z0 so you can see it will print here around zero value now again our uh, robotic arm is on the negative side of y-axis so you can see its position is minus y and the end effector is always uh, above so it's printing like uh, like always the positive value is there also you can see the roll pitch yaw of our uh, end effector and here you can see the joint values of our various uh, joints this uh, python file will be useful for our next tutorials like this commands will be useful in our next tutorials so uh, in our next tutorials we will see how to add the objects in the robotic uh, uh, environment and how to grip them using the uh, robotic arm and pick and place them so stay tuned for the next tutorial thanks for watching hit the like button if you like the video and do subscribe my channel and share the video with others. Thank you so much.